Hey everyone, this is David Brown again with another video aimed at beginner hawk watchers in the eastern United States. Today I want to show examples of red-shouldered hawks and talk about the identification points. So here we have a juvenile red-shouldered hawk. So first thing I want to look at is the shoulders. Okay, there's no dark patagial bars. Remember, red-tailed hawks have dark patagial bars. Red-shouldered hawks and broad-winged hawks do not. So this bird clearly does not. So it's not a red-tailed hawk. Let's take a look at the wingtips. One, two, three, four, five feathers, giving it a more rounded look. Okay, so we're thinking red-shouldered rather than broad-winged. Broad-winged typically have four and have a more pointed look to the wing. Red-shouldered typically have five feathers, give it a more rounded look. Another point near the wingtip is this pale crescent where light is shining through the base of these outer primary feathers. Very distinctive and it's diagnostic for red-shouldered hawk. If you see that even from a great distance you can be confident that you're seeing a red-shouldered hawk. Another thing to look at is the tail. The banding on the tail of juvenile red-shouldered hawks is more consistent. On broad-winged hawks the last band at the tail tip is usually a bit bolder than the other ones. On red shouldered it may be a little bit wider but it doesn't stand out that much more. If we take a look at the upper side of a red shouldered hawk we can notice that we can still see that pale crescent very well. Okay let's take a look at an adult. Okay same field marks. Okay no dark patagial a more rounded wingtip, and a pale crescent shining through. Okay, on the adult they also have a very orangish coloration underneath, um, a lot of banding on the flight feathers. The tail has thin white banding rather than the thick white band of the adult broadwing hawk. Another angle of the same bird. Okay, here's another adult red-shouldered hawk. This one's in a glide. Even with the tail tucked in, you can see the thin white banding. And you still get a hint of the pale crescent shining through. Now the wingtips are tucked back in this posture. But you can still clearly see in the photo that there's five feathers making up the tip. Okay, another adult. Again, you can see the pale crescent, we can see the thin banding on the tail, and no patagial bars. Another juvenile, again, very obvious pale crescent, more rounded wingtip. Okay, another adult, you can see the pale crescents. Okay, a distant juvenile where you can hardly make out the pale crescent, but you still get the sense of the rounded wingtips. Here's an example of a molting juvenile red-shouldered hawk. Okay, this was taken on May 12th, so late spring. That's the time of year where red-shouldered hawks that would have been born the summer before are beginning to molt into their first adult plumage. So you can see it's dropped some of the feathers on its wings. You can still see the pale crescent though. One point to be aware of is we always say to look for the pale crescent on red-shouldered. Broadwing hawks in late spring will also be replacing their feathers. So don't mistake a gap in the wing on a distant bird for a pale crescent. Another adult, the tail pattern is very obvious even though it's hard to see the rest of the bird. Again, same thing, pale crescents in the tail pattern. Here's a, an adult that's backlit and we can't see much detail on the underside. Can't tell if there's patagial bars or not, but we can see it's got a rounded wingtip it's got pale crescents shining through. We can see this sort of typical banding of the wings. And we can see the typical adult red-shouldered tail pattern. So even though we don't have a perfect photo, it's still an easy identification. OK, 
Okay, here's a slightly more distant juvenile. But again, pale crescents are extremely obvious. I would say the crescents are more obvious in the distant photos than they are in some of the great close-up photos. Rounded wingtip. No patagial bars. Another adult. Another juvenile, an even worse photo. Can hardly make out any plumage details, but we can still see those pale crescents shining through and get a hint of a rounded wingtip. And the last photo we're going to take a look at today, another typical adult. You can get the hint of the crescents and the rounded wingtip. No patagial bars and the classic tail pattern with thin white banding. So that is the red-shouldered hawk. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and leave a comment telling me what videos you would like me to make. And thanks for watching. Bye.